Welcome back. This is Joe Samo from San Diego, California. Let's give this algebra exponents question a shot. I encourage you to try this on your own. Hit the pause button and we'll connect in a second. I hope you tried it on your own. Let's try it together now. We have 2 to the x times 4 to the x times 8 to the x times 16 to the x equals 32. Whenever we have a question like this, we want to simplify each number to the same base. Since every number here is an exponential of 2, the base should be 2. So 2 to the x remains as 2 to the x. 4 is like 2 squared to the x. 8 is 2 cubed to the x. 16 equals 2 to the 4th to the x. And all of this equals 32. And let's get that down to the base of 2. To calculate that, we'll do it the long way. 2 to the 0 equals 1, 2 to the 1 equals 2, 2 squared equals 4, 2 cubed equals 8, 2 to the 4th equals 16, and then 2 to the 5th would equal 32. All right, so all of this equals 2 to the 5th. An exponent that's raised to another exponent, here we have 2 squared to the x, we would multiply 2 and x. So that would then be 2 to the 2x. Uh, 2 cubed to the x would be 2 to the 3x. 2 to the 4th to the x is then 2 to 4x, and all of that equals 2 to the 5th. Whenever we have the same base multiplied to each other that's raised to different exponents, we could just add all the exponents. So here, we can add x plus 2x plus 3x plus 4x, and uh, all of that equals 2 to the 5th. So x plus 2x plus 3x plus 4x, that would be, let's calculate it, 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 3 is 6, 6 plus 4 is 10. So all of that would equal 2 to the 10x, and 2 to the 10x equals 2 to the 5th. Now, whenever we have an equation where the base is the same on both sides, then we could set the exponentials equal to each other. So we could just set 10x equals 5, because the base of 2 was the same on both sides of the equation. So now we have 10x equals 5. We divide 10 to each side. We get x equals 5 tenths. Or, to simplify that, it's one-half, and that is our answer. X equals one-half. If you uh, have any questions, let me know in the comments below, please. Uh, or, if you want me to do another equation, just let me know. If you subscribe, you can see our future videos. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.